Hey everybody! Today we have some gorgeous kangaroo leather and we are going to make a very slim sort of front pocket wallet out of it. Now this stuff is really really nice. This is a natural veg tan, full aniline. It's a Vachetta tannage. So you have the natural grain here. Nothing's corrected, nothing's sanded down. Just a really beautiful piece. So let's talk about the differences between kangaroo and cowhide and get to making stuff. Now kangaroo hide, I, for the longest time, I thought kangaroos were endangered, but it turns out they're not. Um, kangaroos are sort of similar to deer and wild boar in the United States. To an extent, koi wolves, but living on Cape Cod, they called too many of them, and now there are rats everywhere, and it happened in like a year, so it's a little, it's a little weird. Um, so I wouldn't really compare them to that so much. But they're a nuisance animal. The populations have to be culled to keep them healthy. About 50 years ago, they were endangered. Now they're not. This is in reference to kangaroos. The leather is cool because it's a lot more dense, it's a lot, it has a higher tensile strength than cowhide at thinner weights. So when you split it down, kangaroo loses a lot of a lot less strength than cowhide does. Now it's important to note that all the leathers we use on this channel are byproduct hides, which means that no animals are getting harvested just for their hides. The hide would get thrown away if it wasn't made into leather. Um, that's kind of one of the things that I makes me feel a little bit better about using leather. Not that I, I don't, I'm, I'm not vegan or anything like that, but it's cool if you are. We're gonna be trying some vegan leather options soon that don't use as much petroleum as the typical fake leather suit. And we'll be doing that in the future. Um, Kangaroo hides are more dense because kangaroos do not have sweat pores, I believe. One of the, I think it's sweat glands. Um, so you end up with a leather that kind of feels like a cross between cow and shell cordovan, even though shell cordovan is a subdermal membrane layer. Um, it almost feels similar to that. So it gives it a lot more strength. And I think some people have tested it. You can go check it out. It allows you to make thin stuff like this. So, let's get to cutting. I did my best to line everything up. It's just more economical to cut out. And creates the fewest amount of scraps. Which for this, you can actually use them for a lot of stuff because leather is so strong. But for cowhide, you know, little scraps are kind of useless most of the time. Like tiny, tiny scraps. I think I'm going to bag out the rest of this stuff. I got some embossed leather that has a nice croc pattern on it, but it's not croc. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to put a logo on this. Stamp's really nice. So open all full strength. And all I'm gonna do is take a little bit from the cap, put it on with my finger. I have just a canvas bag here. And because this is so dense, it polishes up really, really nicely. Caliper set for about three eighths of an inch, and we're going to try to get a solid scab on this. This is very thin to begin with, so if we screw up, we screw up and cut another piece out. Because this grain is so dense, it's 
super nice to sky. Very buttery. And if you have some tarot like that, I don't worry about it. Some people do. I don't. There we go. So you can see we cut, I cut mirrored pockets on either side. Did that for both of them. And what I'm going to do now is I have this pretty much lined up exactly where I want it. There will be a guide in the pattern as well. And what I'm going to do is just kind of lightly mark the top. You can also mark the bottoms as well. But I like to mark the top because it shows me where to glue to. I'm going to rough this up a little bit. I have barge, toluene free cement. We're going to do a little bit of glue there, a little bit of glue there. I don't glue the bottom, I'll show you why in a minute. And then on our main pieces, we go right up to that line that we drew with our scratch all, but I'm not gonna go all the way down yet because we're just trying to get this top pocket in. Use a spool of Dunmore threads. I'm going to go with a Tech 92 in white, and we'll get this uh, sewn up. I'm using this is the 3.85 distanced stitching chisel. Sew it along the tops here, and then you can see right here. I sewed the bottom pocket, and then I glued the bottom pockets on, and then I trimmed them up. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pre-punch everything before I glue it together so that the slants are all looking nice on the stitching. And the way I do this is I start, well, first I make sure I have the right spacing, and then I start on one, and then I can move over to the other one. So when I glue them together, they'll mirror each other perfectly. Then what I'll do is I'll rotate them like this. The reason we're doing this is because when we glue them together, we want them to all be even, all the holes. So I'm gonna start from the top here, And I'm not going to go all the way, well, yeah, I guess we can't go all the way down with this. Yep, so you see how I have a little space there? I'm just going to go up one. And then make sure we do the same thing on this one. There we go. Now we glue. And here we go. This came out super slim. I did a little more skiving around the edges here just to try to get it down as much as I could. You can see how that natural edge looks. Really nice. And we are in at, let's see here, under nine ounces thick. That's pretty darn good. So you have one, two, three, four, Five slots, folded bills fit in here. Cards, 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 cards. And I would suggest stitching around the outside on the top. I used the um, the thinner thread with the 3.85 stitching space spacing, and that really gives a nice look to it. Um, but what the stitching's gonna do is, as you open and close this and use this, it'll prevent any leather is going to stretch with a lot of use, and the, this stitch will hold that from stretching because all of the tension will go onto the thread and not the leather. So, uh, pattern, 
will be a couple bucks in the description. Every, all the materials except for the kangaroo itself are available at Buckle Guy. You can get that link in the description too. And that's going to be about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.